North Carolina Central coach Lavelle Moten agreed with my assessment that the Eagles' last win over Delaware State was the best ugly game ever. For three quarters of the game, each team had an uncharacteristic flow of bad shots and bad passes. I thought both teams were kind of nervous. You know, they, you know, ESPN, Bright Lights, National TV, man, it's probably their first time. You know, they'll say, nah, I was good and whatever, but they, they were nervous because I half of them tweeted and posted game day, watch us on ESPN, you know, so all that stuff. It, it just weighs his hand. I tried to put the pressure on me and just tell him, look, it's basketball. Don't worry about any of the outside distractions. Trailing the Hornets by two, less than 30 seconds to go, the big home winning streak on the line, it wasn't so much about drawing up a play for a cold shooting player. It was more about making him believe the shot would go down. We had a play, we were going to run a play for him, and um, I changed it at the last minute, and we just ran a high ball screen for Nimrod, and I said, Ant, if it comes to you, knock it down. Shoot the basketball with confidence, because I thought he lost a little confidence in himself at one time. Coach was telling me in the timeout right before, you're going to make the next one. He got a lot of confidence in me. He probably got more confidence than I had in myself at the time. I, you know, when I caught it, I just knocked it down. That was just the beginning. Now, up by two points, time running out. Central fouls a three-point shooter with just .4 seconds remaining. The euphoria disappeared. Defeat suddenly seemed possible. But the coach still had to make his players believe. I mean, I just told him, look, let's go to the next play. You know, we had something drew up in case uh, they made both free throws and we were going to throw a home run and try to get a play down here. When the Hornets hit just one of a possible three free throws and time expired, the crowd erupted in natural jubilation. But the coach kept coaching, this time consoling a young man who had just missed a really big shot for the other team. He's a kid, man. And yeah, we won, but as a former player, man, if I'm in that situation, you know, that can, that can hurt as a competitor. And, you know, it's on national TV. And I told him, keep his head up, man. He's a heck of a basketball player. Don't let that. You know, don't wallow in that. You know, just get past it. I know it hurts, it stings a little bit, but you're an incredible basketball player, man. And you, you know, you had 48 points this year. I don't know if anyone else in Division One has had that many points, but you know, I, I just didn't, didn't want that kid walking out here, you know, with his head down, feeling like the world was against him. Because at the end of the day, it's just a game, man. And, and people can be cruel on social media. You know how it go. And I just put it as if he was my child or one of my kids, you know, and I, I just wanted to say something to encourage him and uplift him. Class and grace in winning. Great example from a great coach. I'm Tolly Carr, HBCU Game Day.